Thank you. Um, as she said, I'm Hunter Pearl, and I'm going to tell you that leprechauns are real. For those of you who don't know, a leprechaun is described as a very short person with red hair, usually found in Ireland or of Irish descent. Legends say that they have magical powers and usually have a secret pot of gold hidden somewhere at the end of the rainbow. My first argument states that leprechauns aren't something you see every day, and many people wonder what they would look like today. And um, scientifically speaking, in our search for these things, we have to consider the fact that the theories of their existence started centuries ago, and leprechauns may have evolved over these many years. A theory based on evolution states that midgets, also known as little people, are the living descendants of these small magical creatures. Many people argue that if there were leprechauns, then how come no one has ever caught one? My second argument states why. According to many people who have claimed to have captured a leprechaun, they say that they always use magic, like riding with a fake coin, or simply disappearing into dust to escape. And unfortunately, they have a 100% success rate at escaping, statistically. Therefore, the people who catch them are guaranteed to lose their leprechaun and their evidence. My third argument shows a, um, an actual news report of a sighting that took place in Alabama a few years ago. And this is a real news report. Well, just in time for St. Patrick's Day, crowds are coming by the dozens to get an up-close view at what some say is a piece of Irish folk folklore. Some people in the Crichton area of Mobile say a leprechaun has taken up residence in their neighborhood. A leprechaun. <laughs> the 15th Brian Johnson has more. Curiosity leads to large crowds in Mobile's Crichton community. Many of you bring binoculars, camcorders, even camera phones to take pictures. To me, it looks like a left kind to me. Eyewitnesses <laughs> say the leprechaun only comes out at night. If you shine a light in its direction, it suddenly disappears. This amateur sketch is what you say what the leprechaun looks like. Others find it hard to believe and have come up with their own theories and explanations for the image. My theory is it's casting a shadow from the other limb. Could be a crackhead. <laughs> Don't be afraid, man. This guy helping to direct traffic says he's prepared for his encounter with the leprechaun. He's suited up from head to toe. This is all spells right here. This is a special leprechaun flute. It's been passed down thousands of years ago from my great great grandfather who's Irish. I just came to help out. Others just came to get lucky in hopes a pot of gold may be buried under this tree. I want to run a back over the uproot that tree. I want to know where to go. I want the gold. Give me the gold. I want the gold. This is Brian Johnson, NBC 15 News. People will do anything for a pot of gold. I mean, hey. You know what I like? I like the amateur sketch of the leprechaun. Yeah. Okay, somebody got a really good look at it and got that good drawing of it. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe Brian's sketch. Take a look at it. That was a good story. <laughs> That's it right there. Um, and my source is um, www.allaboutfairies.com. That's my presentation.